Well, hello guys. Can you believe it? Welcome to Vlogmas part one. I'm in the kitchen. I've just been filming something a little special, which I think you'll probably have seen before this goes up um, for Monica Vinida. And I left Mike and River to get the Christmas decorations out of storage. <laughs> Piggy in the middle over there. Because, oh my God, we've got so much stuff. We need to like sort through it. Because we're getting the Christmas tree today. I'm so excited. But I leave them in the storage room. They get all this out. And then I come round the corner. What do I find? Scale Electrics? What are you two doing? Yeah. This is that when is you realise that Daddy okay, is Dad. more of a child than River and has got his Scale Electrics set out of storage. And I can just hear these two screaming at each other, being like, I'm winning, don't crash into me! And Squidge, I don't think Squidge. Did you win? Who? You're winning. Just because I'm not allowed to play now. <laughs> Who's ready to get a Christmas tree today? Christmas tree? <laughs> I thought you'd get a Have you seen what she just did? <laughs> She's got hold of the track. I'm going to race. Who's ready track. to get a Christmas tree? <laughs> me. Just me, apparently. So, I've now got the glorious job of going through all the decorations, which last year, you're right, Scooby, last year they're your stockings. We didn't put things away very neatly, so yeah. We got a lot of decorations to sort out. We've actually got one tree up in the kitchen. You guys have seen this many times. Um, the kitchen is a mess. It's, a, it's an interesting mess in here today, but there we go. Um, we've got this little tree up, which ke keeps getting the decorations changed and every day River takes decorations off it and I have to put them back on. I feel like this is just gonna be River's tree. Um, and I have actually got something really cool planned for her instead of an advent calendar. Although she does have an advent calendar. These are our two advent calendars this year. I've got Nespresso. It's actually not the 1st of December yet either. It's Sunday today, but I've started filming Vlogmas early because I wanted to vlog putting up the Christmas trees because of. Um, I've got an espresso one. I've got a coffee advent calendar. And River got sent this one from her godfather and his wife, which feels really weird to say because they only got married in the summer and I feel like I haven't spoken about them um, since then. Very exciting. His wife, who I adore. Um, so this is uh, the Merry Merry Nutcracker. Um, how beautiful is this? It's the um, advent calendar and it's not chocolate. I'll show you the back. Oh no, wait, maybe I threw away the... Hang on, I think I might have thrown away the picture. So this is the backdrop, and then in each one, I must have left it in the box, in each one, there's like a little um, paper set up. I've completely messed this up, completely messed it up. Great start to Vlogmas Fleur, nice one. Um, and you essentially have like a little pop-up in each day. Such a sweet idea, and it makes a little festive nutcracker scene by the end of it. So adorable. So that's Rivers, but I'm doing a special little thing for her, which I'm going to show you now while she's preoccupied with Mike. So I bought this little host of critters. Look at this one on skis. I actually got these from TK Maxx a while ago when they first, back when they were open, when they first launched their or released their Christmas stuff into store. I only got 17 though, because at the time I didn't, I was just buying them as decorations. And I didn't really think about doing them as an advent thing. This one is just fabulous, look. It's a hairy lion with a with a sequin dress on. Just amazing. They're so detailed and just so unique. And I just thought this would be a really nice thing. Basically each day what I'm gonna do is get a gold coin. I have them here to illustrate. Let's do it on this little mouse. And I'm gonna write the number on it and then I'm gonna tuck the gold coin in so that each day there's a new decoration on the tree holding a gold coin for River to find like that. How cute is that? And I'm gonna write the number on it so that she knows and she has that as her advent calendar. So yeah, that's gonna be her version of an advent calendar and I think it's gonna be really sweet. I've gotta work out a way for them all to hold the coin. I think the pig in his crown will be quite good. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was so cute. I actually need to get hold of a few more of them though if I'm gonna do a full 24. And I just thought this would be such a nice, 
thing to do instead of an advent calendar and she can have them every year as well so she can literally like it every year and then obviously as she gets older she'll remember the little characters so cute i thought these were absolutely adorable but yeah that's ruby's advent we also rediscovered in the christmas decorations piggy's collection of fancy dress <laughs> including this rather fetching piglet outfit <laughs> You are so funny. I'm sorry, pig. What do we put you through, hey? Oh, you look so cute and cozy, though. She's curled up in an old stocking. Oh, piggy. So we're in the car, being serenaded by River in the back, and we're actually not in the orange passion wagon this year because it's, uh... It's dead. It's, it's, dead. it's not really it's capable. Blowing a head gasket. Yeah. So what we're doing, we're actually going to the Christmas tree farm at the same time as my parents, well they're going today as well, and we're both going to pick out our trees and then my dad is going to go in his van and pick up all of the trees together and then deliver them to our door, which is a great service, thanks dad. Um, so yeah, we are on our way. It is the most miserable day. You literally can't see any further than like the hedge. It is so grey. I but feel, we are going to make it festive and cheery. I feel like we should have done our Nando's lunch today, not yesterday. Yeah, we, we should have done. Oh my god, we went for a lock, oh, lockdown Nando's. Oh, bogeys! What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, okay, I need to go and wipe some bogeys. But yesterday we had a lockdown Nando's. <laughs> and we've got basically a cunning idea as went well. and got take away Nando's and sat in the car and eat, ate it and River was better? so excited she was literally like we're having a picnic but this might not be advisable so you might like to see this as frowned upon but you oh, could okay, basically have, have, have you could be in a car a sp yeah. space away have your friends in a car a space away have your other friends in a and car you could windows call each down other, we could call each other and have each other on the exactly. street exactly amazing that would be cool we're going back into tier 2 where we are so we're still not allowed to like hang out with our mates apart from outside which I'm not going to lie if the weather stays like this don't really want to do so yeah maybe we'll be having lockdown nandos with our friends in the next car on speakerphone <laughs> who knows but lockdown Yay! nandos was great it was great considering i basically haven't left the house all week i'm gonna go and wipe the bogeys now a little bit muddy down here Creepy. Mission accomplished guys, we got our tree. How freaky is this? This weather is genuinely terrifying. It's, like <laughs> it's terrifying. It's been like this all, it's obviously got dark now, but it's been like this all day. You literally can't see anything. But we picked our trees. One of them is definitely too big, um, but it's gonna be magnificent. And the chainsaw. I feel like it's about five o'clock now, so by the time we actually get it up, it's probably going to be midnight. But there we go. We've had to take Riv's boots off for Mike to carry her because they're so caked in mud. And we are currently walking through literally a mud pie. It is so muddy. The weather at the moment is crazy. Are we in Foggy Bottom? We're in Foggy Bottom or Sleepy Hollow or in the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> One of those. One of the above. So, guys, the tree. We just had to cut a little bit off the bottom, but it is in place here, ready to be unveiled. And the other one, I'll show you guys, is in the sitting room. And it is a much better size, to be honest. It's looking good, looking good. Um, River's actually just fallen asleep. So she's asleep on the sofa. So we're gonna unleash them, put the lights on, and then wake her up and give her some dinner. And we're gonna decorate! I also haven't shown you guys yet the fireplace in here. Um, a florist actually came and did these arrangements for me. She basically came and picked a load of um, foliage from the garden, made them up and then dropped them off and I popped them on here and they look amazing! Um, so yeah, I did this because I was shooting a few things um, last week, which you guys will see on my Instagram. A um, few bits and bobs with this as a backdrop. I was actually shooting for Monica Vinita for their websites and images. Um, and they looked amazing. But yeah, so this is already done and then we're going to do the other ones tomorrow, hopefully. But I will show you, but I've just lit all the candles. 
and I'm very, very, I don't like candles near foliage. It stresses me out, but they're in glass, so we're gonna keep a, keep a little close eye on them, but we've got them lit whilst we're decorating the tree. And it's so festive, gonna get the festive tunes on and get decorating. We are chefing up a little bit of dinner. I'm just making some pasta sauce. Gonna do like a, kind of like a bolognese, but I'm gonna put prawns in it with some veggies. Just opened a bottle of rosé. Have a little glass of that. And Riv is over there somewhere, still asleep on the sofa. She fell asleep at four o'clock in the car. We've tried to wake her up twice and she's having none of it. Second time she's done this this week. I think she's just been so tired um, from having just a fun day. She got a bit overwhelmed, didn't she, at the end of the Christmas tree farm. And she's like, I wanna go. <laughs> So um, to be fair, I wanted to go too. It did look like something out of a horror movie. Um, but yeah, just gonna have a little bit of dinner first, try and wait River up and then do some decorating. Someone's woken up. What do you think, Riv? You like the tree? Wow, mm-hmm, she said, yeah, it's okay. Super <laughs> high, Wow, let's get decorating. So the first tree is pretty much done. We're missing quite a few. You can tell my height, can't you, with all the decorations in the middle. I've got a few more decorations that don't have string that I'm gonna put down here. Um, and then a couple at the top as well, which I'll get Mike to do like closer. And it's so weird how much you can see where there's a gap when you start filming. Cause visually, like when you walk in, you can't see the gaps, but when you're filming, like you literally you can see right there. But it's pretty much done. This is tree number one. Can move on to number two. And I've lost my two helpers to the Scale Electrics. Yes, again. What's going on in here? We've got a Christmas tree to decorate. We've got dirt oh. in. You got dirt in the, in the tracks? Yeah. Are we gonna decorate the other Christmas tree? No? In a minute. Have I lost you? Have I lost, oh, you've changed the track. Yeah. Oh, I've lost you to Scale Electrics. <laughs> Daddy is so happy about this. <laughs> so happy. Is it have all your dreams come true today, Mike? Apart from the fact she's got a faster car. <laughs> so we've got a red theme for tree two. Had a bit of a, a light issue, but I've managed to rectify it by using four sets of old lights. Um, as you might be able to tell, <laughs> it's a little bit patchy, but we've somehow managed to lose a set of lights. Um, but I am now going through, so in case you guys have been watching for years and years and years, I know a lot of you have, um, all of our sentimental um, decorations are going on this tree as well. So the other tree is like metallic and gold and silver, and then this tree is um, obviously red, predominantly red, but then we have all of our special sentimental decorations, Henry Bendel snow globes, which actually I think we broke two of these. And now Henry Bendel is no more. It makes me so sad. I used to get one every time I went to New York. Um, we've got a little R, that was from Mike's mum. We've got um, Starry One. What else we've got? Mike's mum buys us a, a bauble every year. This one was from Joe Malone last Christmas. It says River on it. I made that at my little event that I held with them. We've got one that River decorated um, on her first Christmas. And we've got, what else? Lots of bits and bobs. We've got lots of piglet related ones. Uh oh, I can see one has smashed. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no, this was one of the ones Mike's mum gave us actually. Oh, sad times from 2010. It's 10 years old and it is broken. Very sad about that. I'm also down here decorating the tree and I can hear Mike reading to River upstairs and it's so cute. He puts on the funniest voices. He's read, or every night recently, we're reading 
um, a series of book called he books called Harry McClary. I don't know if you guys, if you've got kids or nieces and nephews or whatever, whether you have read them, but they're so good. And I would 100% recommend them if you um, are looking for some new kids books. They're so sweet. They're not all rhyming and they're all about dogs. Um, and they're just really lovely. Riv absolutely loves them and it's so cute. I'm literally downstairs like, oh, and I don't want to go upstairs because if I do, Riv will get really excited again and not want to go to bed. So I'm just listening from downstairs like, mm. So many good mems, guys. I think Mike and I bought this one when we went to Edinburgh. I think that was to speak on a panel maybe like five years ago. Got these little um, candy canes that were in our drinks at the... Um, show we went to in New York last year. That seems like a million years ago. What else have we got in here? So many things. Liberty, that was from Mike's mum, I think, 2018. Not too long ago, that one. So many good ones. All the mems. 2017 from Mike's mum. Guys, the peace to resistance. The fairy is going up. And uh, it's a bit of a wonky top, so I don't know what she's going to be like. Those of you, those of you who've been here for a while, what's missing, Mike? Rock fairy. Rock fairy has been, words. or the raving fairy, as she's once been known as well. We uh, mentioned to Mike's mum last year that we had this fairy. She didn't realise. We've had it for twelve years. It's a family and, heirloom. And she wants it back. <laughs> we stole rock fairy. Rock fairy, Ray fairy was abandoned Ray, by mean, my mum and dad and I... now has been claimed back. I want to hold custody rights over rock fairy, but apparently not allowed. Rock fairy is going to Yorkshire. Sad times. Sad times. Right, I am Christmas out. Bedtime. I'm not. I'm so excited because I'm a Christmas elf. <laughs> I actually feel like, you know what, it's actually really nice having gone all out this Christmas because... I thought, oh, let's just not, because no one's coming over, we're not having a Christmas party, no one's going to see it. But what do you actually, mean? COVID-friendly party, everyone's going like, to stand in I mean, in we're having room. raves. Just, like, one person per room, and that's it. But actually, it's made it feel normal, and, like, really festive and happy, and, it like, it's made me really excited doing it. So, now I'm really we happy. We've gone, like, all out, and I'm really happy. <laughs> you need to buy me lots of presents. Well, you need to <laughs> supply me with I actually with don't, a... I don't want anything this year, genuinely. Yeah. I feel like Christmas. grogging is so hard when I'm standing next to Mike because I'm this short. Because you're like, teeny really. tiny. Anyway, this is the tree. Right, I'm I going love to bed. It. And I, I found the lights. After I finished it, I found the other set of lights. Do I put them on? Your problem, Who not knows? mine. Who knows? That is Vlogmas part one. Mike's just left. He's not even going to say... He's just not even going to say goodbye. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> That was the beginning, you missed that as well this morning. Um, yeah, thanks for joining. In case you're wondering, I'm just gonna sit on the sofa because I am actually quite tired as well. In case you're wondering like what we're gonna be doing for the rest of Vlogmas, I actually don't know because the last few years we've done a weekly video and we've done four weekly videos, but I feel like today's video is gonna be long enough for a whole video. So this can be part one. And then I'm gonna try and get two a week up um, the thing is, as well, like, Mike's not here in the week, really, so, like, me vlogging on my own, when it's just me and Riv, and we can't go anywhere, because even when lockdown finishes on Wednesday, we're still going to be in tier two, so we can't really, like, do that much. We can do a few things, but what I feel like I'm going to do is do a weekend vlog with Mike, and I thought you were going to start playing the piano, then I was like, no, you'll wake River up. Um, what are you doing lurking in the background a with a golf ball? Random. Can um, I just point out, I feel like November and December is the only time I've allowed on YouTube at all during the year. Yeah, he's banned. He's banned like, at all of the times. Ten months a year banned, and then as soon as he comes to Christmas time, you're like, oh, God, I'll put him in. <laughs> but basically, I think you'll probably be seeing two Vlogmas videos a week, but if it doesn't go to plan, there will be at least one. So we will definitely do the weekend vlogs, and then hopefully I'll do another one on a day in between that I can plan something fun that is COVID friendly. If COVID wasn't happening, there would definitely be two a week, but there we go. We'll see. We'll see, we'll we'll see you when we see you, but this is part one and we hope you enjoyed it. See you soon, baboons. Bye. Bye.